Ace Combat and Tunnel Runs go hand in hand. An Ace Combat without Tunnel Runs is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without the jelly. Or a Philly cheesesteak without the Philly. Or the cheese. When it comes to Tunnel Run opportunities across the entirety of the Ace Combat series, I believe that Anchorhead Bay in Ace Combat 7 has the most opportunities. Take a look at this map I made of all of the potential Tunnel Run locations in Anchorhead Bay. By the way, hello there ladies, gentlemen, and parking lot attendants. I am Silly Goodness. Please subscribe. The first thing I want to mention is that Anchorhead Bay is heavily modeled off of Yokohama, Japan. In fact, many of the buildings have real-world equivalents in Yokohama. You may notice that some locations on my map are marked with asterisks. These are the only differences between Anchorhead Bay and Mission 16 of Ace Combat 7, and Anchorhead Bay in the DLC mission. What appears to have happened is that Project Ace has copy-pasted four of the warehouses that were already in Anchorhead Bay, and put them in certain locations as spawn points for the MV-22s that you get to shoot down in SP Mission 2. In both Real Yokohama and Mission 16 Anchorhead, these locations were formerly parking lots or empty lots, and one of them was a golf driving range. Now I have that out of the way, I'm going to talk about the locations that I have marked on this map. First up are the warehouses. These appear to be mauled off of a large building in northeast Yokohama that belongs to Toshiba. In game, you can fly through these warehouses without too much difficulty. Most of the complications with flying through them arises not from the size of the tunnel itself, but the buildings around the warehouse that make approach and exit more difficult. Here is me flying through one of them. Next up are the large warehouses that resemble parking garages. They have the outward appearance of them, but in real-life Yokohama, they appear to be a collection and drop-off point for freight trucks. In-game, these structures have three different levels that you can fly through, and it is a pretty tight fit. In fact, when you watch me fly through one of them, you'll just see the tail of the uh, F-104 just casually clip through the roof. No big deal. This next structure is not very long, but it has a very tight fit in my opinion. It also is more difficult because of the awkward approach needed to deal with the pillars in different locations on the open ground floor. Unlike the warehouses and parking garage warehouses, I can only find one instance of this building in Anchorhead Bay. Now that I've shown you those locations, including the parking garage and that building with the pillars that I've never discovered before, let's move on to the more well-known tunnel run opportunities in Anchorhead Bay. The Anchorhead Bay Bridge is a virtual replica of the Yokohama Bay Bridge. These bridges are double stacked, meaning that you can fly between the roadway levels on the bridge. You can fly between these roads, or you can take an even tighter path along the main section of the bridge. While I did not include it in the map, flying under the elevated portions of the highways going around Anchorhead Bay could certainly count as tunnel runs, depending on your preference. Finally, I'm going to show you the tunnel that everybody knows about, the absurdly sized Anchorhead Bay Tunnel. In Yokohama, no such tunnel exists in that location. If this tunnel is based off of a real-world tunnel, that tunnel is not in Yokohama. As for flying through the tunnel, its generous wiggle room makes it easier to fly through, even though you have to negotiate some curves. And that covers all of the potential tunnel run opportunities in Anchorhead Bay. Thank you for watching! Please like the video, comment, and subscribe if you like to see content directly or tangentially similar to this one. Goodbye!